Welcome to Sociology for Competitive Exams. In this video, I'm going to talk about Sanskritization. This is a concept in sociology. If you are preparing for any exam, especially competitive exams, this term is very important. You must know this term. To make this video, I referred to BK Nagla's Indian Sociological Thought and NCRT Class 12th Chapter 2, Cultural Change. Sanskritization is actually a process or a form of social change. And some sociologists define this uh, social change as a social mobility, which is especially found in India. This term was coined by Mysore Narasimachar Srinivas. He is also known as M.N. Srinivas. He is a renowned Indian sociologist. He introduced this term, Sanskritization, in his book, Cast in Modern India and Other Essays in the Year of 1962. Sanskritization is the process by which a lower caste tribe or group would take over the customs and rituals, beliefs, ideology and lifestyle of the higher caste tribe or higher caste group. They are known as twice born caste. In sociological term they called Twija. So this Twija is inclusion of Brahmin caste, Satriya caste and Vaishyas. These people would undergo a second birth through initiation into specific uh, rituals. Actually, these twice born caste people are a group of uh, people who considered their first birth as a biological birth. The second birth would be the symbolic one, which involves rites and rituals. If a person belongs to a Brahmins or a Shadriya or a Vaishya, after some years of birth, they would practice some rites and rituals to show up their caste, which means they are upper part of the Varna system. So these special rites and rituals will give them second birth. That's why they called this higher part of Varna system caste are twice born caste. Now, Sanskritization, as I said, Sanskritization, it's about the caste ranking, which gives some ranking on the basis of purity, impurity of its attributes. So this term was very famous during 1960s because of Hamman Srinivas. He conducted a study uh, in Mysore village and he found that every caste tried to change its ranking in the hierarchy by giving up their previous attributes and trying to adopt a new one and those of higher caste people to change their social status. This process of attempting to change one's ranking by giving up their previous uh, status, which means caste status, they will give up their old attributes, old day-to-day -day activities, rituals, and they will adopt the higher caste people's way of life. So that process is called Sanskritization. So this process involved in two different factors. First one is dietary, one individual's dietary and one's occupation. When there is a hierarchical order in the Varna system, the lower caste people will start converting their social status by practicing some higher caste people's rituals. They will elevate their status from bottom to top. So when they become in this stage, they will change their dietary system from non-vegetarianism to vegetarianism because higher caste people were loving vegetarianism. And also they change their occupation habits from unclean to clean occupation. What do you mean by unclean? Which means a cleaning work and uh, washing work will come under unclean occupation. So they wanted to change their occupation. They converted their status through the process of transcritization. Then they will do clean occupation, which means administration, finance and war. This kind of action they will take. Through this process, they will elevate their status. So this entire process is called Sanskritization. Why is it called as Sanskritization? If you take Sanskrit plays, literatures in the Gupta period, Sudras and women were talking in Prakrit, but the elite class people were talking in Sanskrit. So through these uh, writings and the plays, we can easily understand the Sudras and the women, they wanted to convert their social status. So they started uh, following the elite class. So this process is called Sanskritization. So through this example, you can easily understand why the, the process is called as Sanskritization. I hope this video is very useful and simple and understandable. For Tamil explanation, subscribe to Sociology in Tamil. Watch my other videos. For more new videos, 
on social g make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching this is mohammed signing off